Son. Let me see you take a bite. What do you think about all these girls in these pretty costumes? Um, what did you say? Paula Del Norwood. That's on video. I began experimenting with alcohol at a very young age. In middle school, I began drinking it more with friends rather than sneaking it alone. I would go to camp out with friends and they would have older friends bring us what he's called King Cobras and it was pretty disgusting. All their artwork is based off of DMT. They're like cover art. It's done by a specific artist, but I don't remember his name. Paul Norwood, as a kid, was very wild. It's Halloween, October 31st, 1995. Ow. Uh, sometimes I got into trouble, but I don't think I was ever disrespectful. I think I just got, I was just very wild. Uh, had trouble listening. Around my junior, senior year of high school, I realized I had quite the tolerance for alcohol. Once I got to college, uh, began drinking very heavily. The life while I was drinking was very sporadic. I'm, I'm sober. I'm so sober. I don't even know what a drunk is. Mm. I guess, like, have what I called at that time as much fun as possible. Which is basically be drunk and yell at things. You got to say, yeah, no, no, because we oh, like to like a I would usually drink, like, at least five days out of the week. And, like, maybe three of those days would be like just like I don't know nonchalant drunk for me which I feel like mo for most people is like party drunk and then party drunk for me would just be like fucking balls to the walls I am on the ground <laughs> they call me a groundhog cause I saw my shadow I'm feeling like shit I think we're dying <laughs> my relationship with other people would be what I call as hot cold. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Either you loved me or you hated me. And there was very little in between. What is this? I don't even know these videos anymore, hardly. I've got a friend and her name is May. I went to Guilford College in Greensboro. Woo woo. <laughs> Going to Guilford drastically changed me as a person in comparison to how I was before I went to college. I stopped drinking around uh, a little more than seven months ago. It was becoming something that was holding me back from growing as a person. And I was just constantly trying to impress others. Um, anyways, the first couple months not drinking were very challenging mentally. 
didn't have too many friends and alcohol was like a big part of my life in Greensboro and cutting that out was kind of like a what the fuck type of moment but got through it and feel fucking great now. I take acid spiritually and I smoke marijuana therapeutically and I eat good food and I do exercise. I'll pick things up and I'll put them down. <laughs> I got into doing oil pastels or just doing art in general mainly because of boredom. Yeah, and hadn't really done art since I was uh, like in elementary school. This one's called Imagination Breaths. And the idea is it's a lady living in the city and she wishes she was at the beach so she's breathing in her daydream. I guess it was like three or four months into stopping drinking. I wasn't really doing shit. And I went through the whole fucking, I binge watched TV which was fucking awful of an experience. If you do that, I'm sorry because I felt fucking rough. This is self portrait me that I think is kind of cool. It's me going like this. I don't know why I picked pastels. I just, I guess, like, I had an idea of what the texture looked like. And it was kind of pleasing to my eyes and clumpy. You just kind of splotch it on. I kind of like the vibe of that idea. Just kind of. Since stopping drinking, I've taken on, like, growing spiritually and just, like, most of my time is spent by myself. And I fucking love it. I feel like my life, if I was still drinking, would be sad. I wouldn't be like out searching for who Paul actually is. I'd just be hiding in this little fucking drunk party man's body. I don't fucking know. There are serious moments in life, but I think laughter helps us get through everything and just growing as a person all around. It's a constant goal.